Oh, what's that? Uh, uh, this? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just a sword. You know, I, I've got a sword. Yep, that's right. Y oh, you, you don't have a sword? <laughs> yeah, I was one of those people too, at uh, <laughs> one point in time. I thought I'd never make a sword, you know? I actually thought people that made swords were weird. Apologies, but, uh... <laughs> having a sword is pretty cool. Welcome back to the workshop. It is great to have you here, my friends. Wonderful. Just fantastic to have you here, because today is part eight of making this sword. Yesterday, we left off where I had just heat-treated this guard, so today we're going to be finishing off that guard. I also left you off last time with the forged pummel. Today, what we're going to do is we're also going to finish that. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> This sword is just problem after problem, mistake after mistake, issue after issue to solve and overcome. Now, this pommel has a crack in it. As I was grinding, I saw it and it was terrifying. Because I know how wonderful of a piece of Damascus steel this is. I know the beautiful pattern that's underneath it, but if it's cracked, I can't use it. So this is an issue. What I'm gonna try and do, I need, I need the weight of the pommel, right? I need it to be heavy and bulky. Um, that's the whole point of a pommel, is it's a counterweight. So I can't grind off too much, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try grinding it down, see if I can chase that crack at least most of the way out of there. Good. I didn't have to grind out too much. I think I probably ground off an eighth of an inch of material, maybe even not that much. But I've just about ground most of the crack out, at least what I can tell from this grinding disc. On the corner, however, it is still there. So the crack is not all the way out of there, but it's most of the way out of there. And I think it's out of there enough to be able to continue working on this pommel. This is great. This is just brilliant. <sighs> As I take a deep sigh and deep breath of relief, I now have this finished ground up. So it's been ground. Now what I need to do is I need to do the machining. I need to work out how I'm going to attach this to the sword. And I need to then subsequently get on the mill and start doing some uh, facing off. Then milling a slot and then drilling a hole. I think that's what I'm going to do. Dykem time! One thing I forgot to mention there earlier is before I start milling this, so that I can find the direction that's going to be most attractive with the Damascus pattern, we're going to go ahead and take ourselves some acid and give it a little bit of a test etch. Let's drop it in there. No! <laughs> oh no! I'm now going to try and get it out with a magnet. I hope I don't lose both of them. Oh! Uh, no! No! Come on, come on, let's go! Ah! So close! Ah! If I just get it upright. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We've almost got it. Almost. Now I should be able to get it with the tongs. Oh, yes! 
Okay. Time to go neutralize it in baking soda and water. Let's have a look. Whoa. That looks awesome. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, this sword is gonna be so brilliant. checked in in a while it is going fantastically I'm gonna make this little slot just a little bit deeper from there it's on to some more thinking <laughs> the slot milled in it. And while I was milling the slot, I had the opportunity to think of an ingenious way to mount this. And a lot of people would have done this. I think I've probably seen some examples of cutlery and knives that, uh, that do have it affixed this way to the tang. This is going to be interesting. First, I'm going to start eating my pizza because it's 10.30 at night. Now, Oh my god, no! All those haters that say this isn't the world's best pizza, this is the world's freaking best pizza. I'm sorry. So yeah, I, I confess, I ordered pizza again like this second time in three days. Now, but this is healthy pizza. It's got like a thin crust and it's made by hand, so it's good, right? But anyway, like, like you guys know, I, I work really, really hard to put out these videos to build my business. Massive amounts of work, massive amounts of effort. And over the last year, like, I mean, all my, all my work weeks have been 100 plus hour work weeks. I wake up, I forge, I edit, I go to sleep. Recently, I've been trying to, and I'm always trying to hack my efficiency so I can be more productive. And recently, I flipped my schedule around. And instead of working in the workshop first thing until 6 or 7 in the evening, going home and editing until 1 or 2 in the morning, I flipped it around and I started really, really liking this. I'd wake up early, I'd edit, I'd get to the workshop about 11 o'clock in the morning, work, 11 o'clock in the morning till a little later at night. But what's amazing is how easy it is to completely put a spanner in the works. So what happened is, is the other day I couldn't import my footage from my computer. So it messed up my schedule, which meant that last night I got to sleep way later than I'd like. So to get myself my seven and a half hours sleep, which I try to get, I can't always get, I had to wake up later. I had to wake up at eight o'clock, which then meant that I finished editing way, way late into the afternoon. So it's now 10.30 in the evening and I'm still working. And so I ordered pizza. Best pizza in the world. Okay, I'm done eating. Let's explain how I'm gonna do this pummel. So here's the pummel as it stands. You see, I have a slot here, and I have a hole that's going all the way through. Let's zoom you on in for a little bit of a closer look. God, technology. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so this is the handle. This is the sword tang. This is a threaded rod. That is different. Then I have a hole that goes all the way through. From the back side, I have a hole here, and I then make myself a threaded nut that I can then screw in. I'm pretty sure I've seen people do something like this before. Pretty sure I've seen some examples of something along these lines, but I certainly know this is the first time I've done anything like this, and this is a very ambitious thing for me. So that's exciting. What do I need to do now to accomplish this? Well, in the pommel, I need to drill a hole or mill a flat bottomed hole right in line with the center hole. I then need to make a nut and I also need to have threaded rod on the tang. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take a four millimeter bolt, I'm gonna cut the head off, I'm gonna cut a groove in the tang and we're gonna weld it, grind it flat. 
and then we'll have a stud on it. I'm not going to be threading this because this is actually thinner than four millimeters currently. So I need to make sure that I can get a proper thread and I can only do that with a four millimeter bolt. <laughs> I am terrified. My camera's all set up. Got uh, earmuffs handy. Angle grinder with a cutting disc on it. The sword that I have just spent eight days working on. And I've got to cut it. It's now time to cut the tang. And I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. <laughs> oh my god. If I cut this in the wrong place. This is eight days work gone. <sighs> this is not fun. This is not fun. This is very scary. I've got to do it though. up. Still terrified! I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is awesome. Making things, thinking about how to do the next step, doing the next step and succeeding. Oh my goodness. You guys need to go make something. Seriously, because the elation that I feel right now, it's, it's unbelievable. Please, I beg of you, just go make something. Finish this video and go make something, whatever it is. Whether you draw something, whether you make something out of steel, whether you forge something, cast something, sculpt something, whether all you're doing is making your life better, just build something and build something great because it's the greatest feeling ever. And I am so thrilled to have had you here. Please, be sure to share this video with your friends. Hit the like button, comment below. And I will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Go make something. Go make something great. Go be great. And have a fantastic evening. Bye-bye.